Here is question 2a part 4. So we've got our information about our apples from our sample. Let's have a look at the question. So it's claimed that apples that are conventionally grown are at least twice as likely to be diseased as apples that are grown organically. Okay, the first thing that I see is this phrase here. This jumps out at me, twice as likely. As soon as you see a phrase like that, I want you to automatically go straight to thinking about relative risk. Okay, because that's where it's at. As we want to think twice as likely means relative risk. Okay, really important to know that terminology. So that's what we want to, that's what they're asking us about is to find a relative risk. Now as soon as we know we want a relative risk, we need to think, well, relative risk means I've got a conditional probability divided by another conditional probability. Okay? That's always the setup of a relative risk question. What we now need to do is figure out what the subgroups are. So what is the conditions and both the probabilities and what is the probability that we're interested in. So we've got to work out those parts. So let's go back to the wording of the question. It's talking about apples that are conventionally grown. So that tells me that's my condition of, on the top. I know that I'm just talking about the apples that are grown conventionally. And from those ones that are grown conventionally, I want to know about whether or not, th what their chance of having a disease is. So I want to know what's the probability of a diseased apple knowing that it's conventionally grown and I want to compare that to apples that are grown organically. So I want to, on the bottom, I'm comparing it to the organically grown apples and I want to know what's the chance of a disease apple knowing that I've got an organic apple. So that's often the hardest part is to work out that setup. Now we need to actually do some calculations and work out the answer. Okay, so let's think about um, the top line. The probability of a diseased apple given that we have a conditional, uh, con sorry, conventional grown. So I'm just going to look at my conventionally grown apples there. And I've just highlighted those. So from those conventionally grown apples, we want to know what's the chance of it being diseased. So we've got 122 conventionally grown apples that are diseased out of the 640 conventionally grown apples. So that's my conditional probability is 122 over the 640. Okay, now I've got to work out the probability on the bottom. So this one is talking about the probability of a diseased apple given that we know it's organically grown. So now I'm comparing my organically grown apples and again I'm just interested in the diseased ones. So we've got there a probability there are 58 organic apples that have a disease out of the 560 organically grown apples. Now I'm going to put that into my calculator and that's going to give me an answer of 1.84. So now let's have a look at the question and see what is the question says. So it's claimed that apples that are conventionally grown are at least twice as likely. So at least means more than or equal to. So have we got, it's talking about at least twice as likely. Is our answer at least twice as likely? No, it is not. So therefore we need to state whether we agree with this or not, and we're going to state we disagree, um, well not we, sorry, I disagree with the claim as the relative risk is less than 2.